practiced instrument approaches. First in VMC to get to know my new avionics setup and then with a safety pilot and a view limiting device to prepare for flying in actual instrument conditions. I feel good about where I am and today the weather is perfect for the real thing. Instrument approaches in actual IMC, two minimums. It's mid-December in Iowa and after a few cold weeks and a lot of icing potential in the clouds, today we have a mild ice-free day. The skew T diagram shows temperatures comfortably above freezing, about plus 4 degrees Celsius at 4000 feet, which is around the top of the overcast layer and blue skies above. Let the sun begin. Set. Clip prop. Keep your fuel pressure. Self-test. All good. Clear left, clear right. Okay, let's get the ATIS. Cedar Aperture Information Hotel 1607 Zulu Special Observation, wind 120 at visibility half, fog, variable visibility 200, temperature 7, dew point 7, altimeter 2963, eyeless approach in use, landing departing runway 9 -er. notams, runway 9 -er and 13 condition codes 555, both runways 100% wet, observed at 1016 Zulu. Remarks, hazardous weather information for Iowa and surrounding states available on flight service frequencies. Advise under contact, you have information hotel. Okay, I had filed a flight plan from Cedar Rapids to Cedar Rapids uh, with just one of the intersections on uh, the approach for Niner. Uh, Des Moines is my alternate, has uh, good weather already and forecast to get better. The further we get west here, the higher the ceilings go and the, the clearer it is. And in another hour or two, it's going to be clear here as well. That's what the TAF says. So uh, improving conditions, if I don't like what I see at first, just wait a little bit and uh, I'll get better. So you have clearance. Good morning, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Uh, has information hotel and an IFR on file uh, back to Cedar Rapids for some practice approaches. I would like to start with an RNF to roughly uh, 9 with vectors to final. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids clearance delivery. Good morning, Martin. Cleared to the Eastern Iowa Airport via radar vectors. Climb and maintain 3000. Departure frequency 119.7, squawk 5356. Finance S7, Zero Tango Bravo, cleared to the Cedar Rapids Airport via radar vectors, climb maintain 3000. Uh, expect uh, uh, the 119.7 for departure, squawk 5356. Finance S7, Zero Tango Bravo, read back is correct, and I'll pass along the RNAV request to departure control. Thank you. And ground Bonanza 7, the Tinker Bravo is uh, ready for taxi at the west ramp with hotel request full length niner. Bonanza 7, zero Tinker Bravo, Cedar Rap is ground runway niner, taxi via alpha. Runway niner, taxi via alpha, Bonanza 7, zero Tinker Bravo. Alright, clear ahead and left and right at the intersection, it'll be a right turn at alpha. Windsock and from the METAR you can see that there is a little bit of wind going. That's that's good. That will help dissipate the fog. It's only uh, a little after 10 in the morning. So uh, uh, that that should expedite dissipating the fog. You know, once once the clearing starts, it'll be it'll be pretty quick. Turning, turning, correct. Okay, I need to set my altimeter. 2963, quite different from what it was. And it shows field elevation correctly. Same on the back up. Two niner six three. 
Altitude's good. Okay, let me bring my chart up for the RNAV Niner. Get back just to Fona and then off. Uh, where we have the ATIS. I am going to talk to approach and switch to tower here. 19.7. It's an LPV. Final approach goes 089. 2500 feet intercept altitude at Fona. Minimum is 1060. I can set that here on the Aspen. 1060. Minimums. Mountain 8348, you having to call the tops on your way in? Uh, 4200. Thank you, sir. 4200, that means I will be in the clouds the whole way. Uh, temperature is comfortably above freezing. I'll keep a good eye on that. Okay, uh, my vertical is uh, pretty simple here, 2500, uh, Fulner. And then all the way in on the LPV. Good morning, clear to Chicago O'Hare Airport. To, uh, maintain by a minimum of 1060. Point level 1901, one zero minutes after If for some reason that doesn't work, if, if, I, if I can't get LPV, I won't get in with enough. And I'll have to uh, uh, go somewhere else or, or wait a little bit. Okay, at waypoint, we're going to KCID. Uh, we are. 3708, read back, correct? Normal call for release for you. Doing the RNAV liner LPV with vectors, and I'm just going to load that for now. And then maybe after that, I'll try the RNAV 213 with a hold and finish up with an ILS. Okay, time for the run up. Normal takeoff, runway niner in Cedar Rapids with a little bit of crosswind from the right, so I'll put the appropriate correction in. Um, it is going to be low. Very low overcast. Um, my eyes will go to the attitude indicator right away. Assume the pitch attitude that the uh, flight director gives me. If I have any kind of indication that something's wrong on the roll, engine sounding rough, door popping open, I will immediately pull the power and roll out straight ahead. If I have a complete loss of engine power uh, before reaching 2,000 feet, and just going to carry on straight we ahead, Alpha, we are on the otherwise, you know, in conditions today, I might uh, turn Good. into the wind and uh, just lower my ground speed when I when I get to the ground. Unfortunately, this is the day, this is the kind of day where an engine failure in a single engine airplane uh, leaves very few options. The good news is that the area around the airport is not built up at all, plenty of space, and uh, that should work in my favor. The Windsock is getting more active, that means that there should be more mixing and the fog should be dissipating more quickly. And looking up, it looks, it appears there's some structure that, that starts to show up in, uh, in these low clouds. So uh, that should mean that we're headed to better weather here very soon. All right, my heading bug is, let's see what they assign. I'll put it to runway heading for now. And with that, I am all set for takeoff. CDF Tower, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, holding short runway 9, are ready for departure. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Tower, fly runway heading, runway 9 are cleared for takeoff, runway 9 are RVR 2200, roll out 2000. Fly runway heading, clear for takeoff, runway 9, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Uh, Four plus Tower Island is runway 9. Eight 6009, Cedar Rapid Tower, runway 9 or clear to land, runway 9 or RVR 2000. I go to heading. Oh, that's 6009. Indicated airspeed. Okay, all the parts. 
engaged. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, contact departure, track unit bit. Come on, Teddy Parcher, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo. Zero departure, good morning, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, 2000, climbing 3000. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 3000. Climb and maintain 3000, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, turn left heading 360. Left turn 360, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Exit jet 557, runway 9 or RVR 2200 touchdown, 3000 rollout, contact tower 118.7. 1870, Take some power out. Twenty inches should do it. Twenty five hundred RPM and lean. Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo, turn left heading two seven zero. Left heading 270, one answer 70, Tango Bravo. Okay, cruise, drop is 2500, call for and close. 70, Tango Bravo, how will this approach terminate? Drop and answer 70, Tango Bravo, after this approach, I would like to fly the uh, RNAV for runway 13 with the course reversal and payload on my own, please. Roger. Hey, there's the sunshine. Alright, so I briefed the approach on the ground. That means a 70 Tango Bravo, turn left heading 260. Left heading 260, but it's a 70 Tango Bravo. Got quite a bit of wind from the south here, 36 knots, so it's required. Approach citation, 5 Bureau, Victor Mike, uh, 14,000, sending 11,000, information hotel. Citation 56. Zero Victor Mike, Cedar Rapids approach, expect vectors for the ILS runway niner, final approach course. Expect vectors, ILS runway niner, 560 Victor Mike. Okay, so I get vectors to Foner. There'll be a couple of left turns to get there, and then once established on Foner, I will uh, couple the autopilot. This first one I will fly a couple today. I've done that in, in VMC, I've done it under the hood. Today is the first time to do it in. Uh, in this low of, of an IMC, uh, and then the minimums 1060 are programmed into the Aspen. When I get to minimums, I will push the power, uh, make sure mixture and proper forward, uh, hit the toga button, and the, hit a little right rudder, and uh, the autopilot will fly the coupled approach uh, back to a climb. And then as things are stabilized, I will bring the gear up, uh, engage heading mode, and uh, capture 3,000 feet, or whatever ATC assigns. The uh, published mist on the one we're doing right now is to fly Cedar Rapids to Earth. Judas, uh, to 2,700. Exact jet 55. I uh, am pretty sure that Turn right ATC will give me different instructions. Zero vector for the ILS runway niner final approach course. One at zero to five uh, what's the current RVR there? We just might be going to Des Moines. Exit at 557, uh, runway 9 or touchdown 3,500, roll out 3,000. Alright, uh, set us up for another one, please. Exit at 557, Roger. So that's improving. It was in the mid 2000s last time it was called out, and now it's 3,000 and change. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, turn left heading 230. 230, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Number 560 Victor Mike, descend and maintain 6000. Descend and maintain 6000, 560 Victor Mike. Take some power out to 
16 inches to slow us down a little bit. 16 inches of power is um, is a value that works pretty well in my A36 for approaches when I'm not in a hurry. You know, if I have traffic behind me, if I'm told to speed up, then I'll fly faster. Okay, I can also now activate this approach. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, turn left heading 180, descend and maintain 2500. 180-2500, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. It's a little bumpy here as we're getting from the, the higher wind to the lower wind. Altitude. Now remember the altitude pre-select from the Aspen is not quite working yet. The uh, FAA is still working on that STC. Uh, that should be approved shortly. All right, level at 2500. Okay, my next turn. The 70 Tango Bravo, four miles from Boner. Turn left heading 120. Maintain 2500 till established on the final approach course. Cleared RNAV runway nine or approach. Left heading 120, maintain 2500 until established, uh, clear RNAV 9 or approach, but answer 70, I'll take a problem. R560, Victor Mike, turn left heading 270. Left heading 270, 560, Victor Mike. Okay, I'm left, of and course, and I'm below the right slope, the current is all like I expect. Or five six zero Victor Mike runway Niner RBR touchdown four thousand roll up three thousand five hundred. Thanks five six zero Mike. Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo Mr. Perch instructions fly runway heading climb and maintain three thousand. Runway heading in three thousand Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo. Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo contact tower one one eight point seven have a good day. All right over the tower talk to you zero Tango Bravo. Final approach course is coming in. It's turning and up to the power. Tower, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo on the RNAV Niner. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Tower, runway Niner cleared for the option. Runway Niner RBR 4000. Runway Niner cleared for the option, Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo. Okay, quite slope intercept. Gear is coming down. Landing checklist gear down and locked. Landing light is on. Mixture full rich. Power flips open. And uh, RPM will go for one short final. All right, we're on course, on glide path, on speed. Break car 3708 is advised crossing the speed from 60, so we got uh, 700 feet till minimums. 500 to minimums. 200 to minimums. RPM full route. One hundred to minimums. Approaching minimum. Float lights inside. Minimums. Go around. Bonanza, you think about what is going around? Bonanza seven zero, think about Roger. Climb maintain three thousand. Turn left heading zero seven zero. 3000 and 070 open and 70 will take a problem. Get gear up. Cedar Rapids Tower, digit 557 on your left. 557, Cedar Rapids Tower, wind 1409 or runway 9 or clear to land. Runway 9, clear to land, thank you, digit 557. And uh, runway 9 or RBR 4500, roll up 2800. But answer the thing about all uh, free information. I saw the approach lights at minimums. That's zero ten Bravo. Thanks for the power up. Contact departure one one nine point seven. One one nine point seven. But answer the thing about all. See the departure. But answer seven zero ten Bravo uh, two thousand six hundred climbing three thousand heading zero seven zero. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, turn left heading 360, 
and expect uh, direct payload here momentarily. Heading uh, 360, and says you think about one local. Tower 560, Victor, Mike, six miles from Foner, turn right heading 060, maintain 2500, to establish on the localizer, cleared ILS runway 9 or approach. Right heading 060, 2500, to establish, clear ILS uh, runway 9 or 560, Victor, Mike. Okay, 3000, I'm heading 360. Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo, proceed direct, Halo. Proceed direct, Halo, Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo. And I'm going to do that with GPSS. Tower 599er, Bravo Golf, turn left heading 320. Left turn 320 for 599er, Bravo Golf. This is the RNAV runway 13 approach. Tower 560, Victor, Victor, runway 9er, RVR. Frequencies are unchanged. Touchdown 2600, rollout, contact tower 118. I'm uh, direct to Palo. I expect my approach clearance before I get to Palo. And then I will do the hold. Vertically speaking, the hold is at 3,000, then I descend to 2,500 on the way to Collins, the final approach fix. And then uh, it's an LPV. Minimums are. Minimums are 1120. Uh, 70 Tango Bravo, how will this approach terminate? When it's a 70 Tango Bravo, I would like uh, to do an uh, ILS runway 9 or 2 full stop. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Roger. Okay, 1120. Bonanza 7-0, Tango Bravo, six miles from Halo. Uh, cleared RNAV, GPS runway 13 approach. And just advise when you are uh, procedure turn inbound and may have you do one holdover payload for inbound traffic to Cedar Rapids. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo is cleared for the RNAV 13 approach and will advise procedure turn inbound. And Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, just plan for one turn in the hold. Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo, Roger. Okay, with the magic of GPS steering, we're entering this hold without me doing anything really. All right, so here's a question. How do I tell it to stay in the hold if that's what she wants me to do? And it's just a matter of pushing the suspend button. Showing us continue in the hold, and if I want to take that back, push it again, and we're back to just uh, free reversal. This is GPSS, this is perfect. Structure big journey, 3708, 2000, climbing 5000, I need to do this on the ground. Brickyard 3708, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, turn left direct center, climb and maintain 10,000, 10,000. 10,000, direct center, Brickyard 3708. And Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo, you can disregard the holdover payload and proceed inbound. Uh, cleared RNAV, runway 13 approach. What answer is you think Bravo, uh, Roger and Wilco cleared for the RNAV 13 approach and I'm uh, about established inbound now. Roger. Okay, okay, it's done at 16 Bravo inches. Bravo, you, uh, ILS runway uh, 0 9 And November 599er Bravo, Goff, you're still on approach frequency, tower is 118.7. 187, sorry about that. Brickyard 3708, contact Chicago Center 133.95, have a good day. 3395, Brickyard 3708, see ya. Okay, I'm still in GPS steering. All right, we're going to exit the hold. After payload, I can descend to 2500. And let's see, I got six miles, so about three minutes to do that. I'll select uh, 400 feet per minute. 
with my descent. That way I have time to get everything stabilized before reaching Collins. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, miss approach instructions, fly runway heading, climb and maintain 3000. Runway heading at 3000 on the miss, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Okay, uh, descent to 2500. to go. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, contact tower 118.7. Contact the tower, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. See the tower, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo is on the yard now, 132 miles from Collins. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, see the tower, wind 140 at 9 or runway 13, continue. And I uh, don't have any RVR reports for only 1-3, but only 9 RVR, 4,000. All right, continue for 1-3, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Any change in the ceiling, because it's still at 200? No, uh, standby, I'll ask this uh, arrival that just landed here. All right, we got our indications. Yeah, number 9 Bravo, going approach for the taxi speed and uh, position. Uh, we're just coming up on a uh, 1331, doing uh, about 20 knots, and uh, you want, we can tax back taxi on 313. Right on, Bravo, go turn left, runway 31, and uh, taxi the ramp via Alpha Echo, Echo 2, and remain this frequency. All right, left turn on 31, Alpha Echo, Alpha 2, uh, 5, right on, Bravo, Golf, taxiing with you. Right on, Bravo, Golf, do you recall the bases coming in? Yeah, they were right at 200. I got the uh, uh, approach lights at 200 feet. Thank you. As you were thinking, Brad, I don't know if you heard, but it uh, looks like still 200 feet on the, uh, the ceiling there. Uh, copy, but it says you think about one. Thank you. All right, uh, about to capture. Three coins. Landing checklist. Gear is down and locked. Landing light is on. Mixture goes rich. Confirms open. Uh, RPM and throttle remain for the go-around. Alpha 2. Zero Tango Bravo, runway 13, clear for the option. 13, clear for the option, but answer Zero Tango Bravo. Okay, on the mist, it's heading, runway heading. Wind arms is 11.20. On course, on glide path, on speed. 600 to minimums. 200 to minimums. Getting the RPM in. 100 to minimums. Approaching minimum. Minimum. Minimums. Establishing climb. Positive rate. Gear up. And heading mode. And indicated your speed. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo is on the uh, missed approach, runway heading, climbing to 3000, and uh, no runway contact. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, thanks for the climb, maintain 3000, and continue runway heading. 3000, and runway heading, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, contact departure on uh, 119.7, er and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, departure 119.7, one, zero tango Bravo. Bonanza 7, zero tango Bravo, uh, leveling off here at 3000. Bonanza 7, zero tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, turn right heading 180. Right heading 180, Bonanza zero tango Bravo. Okay, back to 20 inches.
Okay, this is the uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, ILS runway 9 on chart. All the frequencies remain the same. 109.3 is tuned and just got identified ICID. That's the the uh, Morse code we're looking for. I'll wait till I'm a little further to the west before I load and activate this uh, approach into the GPS. But really, it's uh, headings and, and flying the ILS, localizing glide slope from here. Don't really need GPS for this one. Okay, if I load and activate, I expect a uh, leg into Foner. And that's what I'm getting. Best approach for this one is climb to 1400, then really continue straight climb to 2700 to Lisbon. At that point, the GPS will help me. So really 2700 and climb straight ahead. Minimums for this one, 1057. So I'm gonna set that to 1060. And 60. And then if at minimums I can see the approach lighting and nothing else, I uh, I will be able to descend to 100 feet above touchdown zone. Touchdown zone is uh, 857, so 960, another 100 feet. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 360, descend and maintain 2500. Right heading 360, descend and maintain 2500, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. All right, additional note here is that uh, autopilot coupled approach is not authorized below 1100, so at 1100 I need to switch to uh, just the flight director which is one of the really nice things about LPV approaches. This is a fairly common limitation for autopilot use on an ILS. Uh, GPS-based approaches don't have that. 200 to go. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, five miles from Foner. Turn right heading 060, maintain 2500 to the south of the localizer, cleared ILS, runway niner approach. Heading uh, 060, maintain 2500 until established, cleared for the ILS on Bay 9 approach, but it's a 7 0 thing problem. Okay, glide uh, the localizers to the left. Coming in now. Uh, 346 Juliet Victor, safe flight conditions. Uh, we're in the clear and uh, smooth for uh, 6 Victor. Our 346 Juliet Victor, did you happen to catch the top? Uh, seems like they were just under 4,000, maybe 3,800. Roger. A little sloppy there on the intercept, Mr. Autopilot. But, you know, we got 25 knots from the right. the uh, glide slope to move in. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, runway 9er RVR, 6,000 touchdown, 5,000 rollout. Contact Tower 118.7, have a good day, thanks for your help. Uh, tower 118.7, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, thank you for your help. 6 Tower Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo on the ILS runway 9er. Bonanza 70 Tango Brown with Cedar Apps Tower, wind 150 and Niner. Runway 9 clear land, traffic departing to Niner Apple, D145. Runway 9 clear land, Bonanza 70 Tango Brown. Okay, glide slope is coming in. Bonanza 0 Tango Brown, appreciate the uh, base report. Uh, Bonanza 0 Tango Brown, we'll roger. Is it higher than 200 now? Uh, we haven't gotten anything uh, recently since that last time you were on final for a 1-3. Just figured we were due for another one. Okay. Uh, 
Mark here is down in Lock Nine, Mixture, Bridge, Altitude. Okay, uh, missed approach, altitude is 2700. Pima 6009, our contact departure, have a good one. Departure, you too, Pima 6009. Okay, I'm on course on glide slope. It was 1060. 800 feet to minimum. Go down a lock landing on its own. Mixture is now full rich. Pumps. Short final. And then at 1100, I will have to disconnect the autopilot. Remain this frequency and safe parking. Left Alpha 6, this frequency and northwest T's. As you're taking Bravo, taxi straight ahead to the northwest T's and you have a good day. Straight ahead to the northwest T's. Uh, thank you for all the help today and have a good day to you. Zero Tango Bravo. You too. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yes, it was. I'm glad you could come along today and watch these instrument approaches. Alright, clear the runway, flaps identified and up, car flaps open, lights back to beacon, pedo heat off. The new instrument panel is already fantastic, clear, clear. and it will get even better once the FAA approves Aspen's STC for the new software with the digital autopilot interface. I'll have more videos coming soon showing off the advanced capabilities of the new avionics. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe here on YouTube. That helps me grow the channel. And if you want to make an even bigger contribution towards more videos, maybe you'll consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. A big thank you to all of you who already are patrons. I appreciate your support. Fly safe and see you soon in the next video.